the semicolon pretty much anywhere inside the line and it knows code rush knows that well you just mean you're done and the cursor jumps at the end the semicolon gets put in the c-sharp and then I can just keep on typing I don't have to arrow arrow I mean I just get tired of typing the arrow key All right, rename I mean how can you not love rename uh, when I don't have code rush or, or if I'm if I'm pairing with someone who doesn't have code rush and I, it feels like my hands are bound because I see them using maybe the built-in Visual Studio features, and they work. But they're not Code Rush. I was I was pairing with a junior dev, uh, really sharp guy, you know, stuff, but he, he's not used to Code Rush. He hit the Visual Studio rename button, and this dialogue pops up. It took like two or three seconds for it to pop up, and like my time is more valuable to me than that two or three seconds. So I said, No, no, no. What are you doing? I hit Escape a couple times. I said, Watch, watch how fast this is. Hit the refactor key, rename, done. It was, I, I had the whole thing, the whole rename refactoring done faster than it took the Visual Studio dialog for rename to pop up. Oh, the performance is great. Oh, the UI is great. I mean, just everything about it is really just feels like it's really gel, right? And it's a real high quality product. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. I can't get enough of it. It's awesome. Code Rush has been on the list since forever. I mean, I, I'm all about the Code Rush. Uh, create member. So, like, create a property. I'm, I'm doing TDD. I'm in the test class. I haven't maybe written the entire class yet. I, I, oh, I need this property there, and I don't have it yet. Just type out the property name in my test, hit create property uh, in the code re code refactoring menu, and boom, the property's there. This extract method, it's awesome. You, you, it's so fast that you can sort of hit the refactor key for extract method, and the preview shows you like, oh, this is what it's gonna look like. And then if it's not what I want, you know, I just hit escape, maybe sort of highlight different text and say, oh, that's really what I wanted to extract as my method. We saw the, uh, uh, the parameter reordering, and I, I said, I said, come on, you guys, quick, look over here, look over here, look over here. And then we, we, we took two parameters, and we went like this, and then the, like, inside of the editor, the two parameters like jumped up, ran away, and flipped over, and like people just went, ow! It was like an MTV, it was like an Aston Kutcher, kind of a You Got Punk thing, except with developers. And they just went bonkers. They could not believe that that kind of thing could happen. And people were saying, oh no, Code Rush is just pretty, it's just painting, you know, it's just visual flash. I'm like, no man, it's 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 a UI hint about exactly what's happening. It's not it's not flashy. It's it, it's information. And that's one of the things I like about what Mark does, is that even the stuff that might be considered um, you know over the top from a graphics perspective is providing information that I that I need as a developer. I was impressed with the performance, um, the feature set, and it worked really well. Wow, what what can be done with this stuff? It's so it gives you so much opportunity and so much uh, speed in coding. Uh, well, I really like that.